Hi, my name is Anand and today I will be showing a demo of the advanced firing sequence using Surpac 6.7's latest drill and blast model. The new advanced blast firing sequence design functionality allows us to graphically tie, untie, edit blast holes in a given blast pattern so that the blast holes can be fired as per a desired sequence. This function can work on a blast pattern that is already designed or it can also be used to create a new blast pattern. It features a firing sequence designer panel which is a one-stop shop enabling functionalities such as tie holes, untie holes, untie all holes, validate firing sequence, display firing sequence, hide firing sequence, save firing sequence, load firing sequence, chart, firing sequence length, firing animation, display for auto plotting among several others. Now I am going to show you how the holes can be tied using the tie holes function. Now this is a blast pattern that is already designed and I am going to invoke the new feature advanced firing sequence design. This is the place where I nominate my delay for holes between the holes and between the rows. Then I click on tie holes function and it will prompt me to select the initiation hole. This is my initiation hole and I'm going to connect to the last hole. I will hit escape and select the second hole to tie with the second row. In a similar way, I am going to connect all the holes in each row. Now that I have connected all the holes, this chart is showing me number of holes getting fired at a time at a given time. Now at this point, I can untie all holes, use the redo button to tie them together again. I can also change the delay time between the holes like changing to 25 milliseconds from 75 milliseconds and then selecting the two holes now this delay had changed and it has updated the remaining holes in sequence. Once I am happy with this tying up, I will invoke the animation for firing. I can also use the slider bar to show the animation. This new function 
will also give you firing sequence length. Once we are happy with this tie-up, we can also generate a plotting layer for auto plotting. This way, now the graphics window is ready for using auto plot function.